What's up guys and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we have yet another super special day. It is the third special day in a row because of course we're going to be going ahead and doing yet another brand new character class showcase. It is of the Hover Goat 3000. Now the weird thing is, as you can see under his name it says that he is super rare. But on the Torchwood, it just says Torchwood. And why that is, is of course all these classes don't have a rarity because the idea is that you start the game with that class. But if you see a variant, you'll see they'll have a rarity. So why is it that the game thinks that Torchwood is the base class, but the Hover Goat is not? Is very, very weird. And maybe you'll find out some other point in time. Maybe that means something. Maybe it's just a mistake, who knows? But either way, the Hovergo 3000's future technology helps zombies run faster and shoot harder. His mega awesome laser is uber powerful too. He seems to be a really cool looking support class, which I like, he has three abilities. As always, the damage buff booster beam. Thanks to future technology that we don't quite understand, this beam can help an ally deal more damage, which is really great, because usually, so far, you know, we see support classes more do things like directly healing, or in the Rose's case, that'll, you know, sort of debuff enemies around you, and that's how it's going to support, you know, your team is by debuffing the enemies, but, the, you know, the Hover Goat here is a little different in the fact that, um, he's actually helping you instead of, the, you know, you the teammate instead of hurting the enemy, which is really cool. He also has the Mega Awesome Laser, this focused beam of light energy from the future can zap plants super fast. Side effects may include slower movement and extra coolness. And then finally, we have tur Tubular Turbo. Hovergo 3000's fancy hoverboard can release a blast of turbo particles that can make allies run faster if they're close to him when the blast is activated. Very, very cool. So I cannot wait to try him out in game and see how everything turns out. You guys have been going on and on about how awesome he is and so far, ooh. More secrets. I don't know what that trophy was for, but cool, I guess it's for playing all the classes. All right, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started playing. I love this guy so much. Look at how cool he is. He's just, like I've said this in the previous episode, and I'll probably say in any episode that I play Hover Goat 3000, if they don't give me the ability to customize those shoes, I'm gonna go crazy. They're already really cool, but imagine if you could just get you know, customized shoes. I would be the happiest zebra in the world. Just plain and simple, you know? Ooh, we're actually in this area. The party ruined. Um, okay, so we're in suburbia at the end. Usually, oh, good game, guys, good game. We, we did great, great start as a hover goat. I did so much good stuff there. Great player. That, that I am, that I am. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll try again in the next round. Okay, let's get started. This is gonna be cool. So we can boost your damage. So if we stick with you, which will be hard because you're a scientist, I can jump around like crazy. That might be interesting in certain situations when we're with characters, maybe we could like hide behind technically. Like if Super Brains or an All-Star would be really good. Hello, and we can do cool little tricks as taunts. That is so cool. He is a really cool character. <laughs> but his shoot, his shot is actually like a consecutive laser beam. Think more like uh, Cosmic Brains is a good example of what this is similar to. I was expecting a consistent beam like Citron, but not the case so far. Ooh, okay, we got our first assist. And of course, we'll be trying to earn up our level 10 today. A lot of people, here's the weird thing. I've never seen anyone tell, tell me, like say that, you know, oh, uh, Torchwood is OP. And I said that in the Torchwood video. I was like, ah, oh, nobody's really told me Torchwood's OP, so I'm gonna hope that means he's not OP. And then in that comment section of that video, is like everybody and their grandma saying Torchwood's OP, so I don't know where I missed a train at, but I definitely missed it. I mean, I bought a ticket, so I'm out of money. <laughs> no, I'm fine. But uh, this is a pretty cool character so far. I like the idea of being able to sort of conjunction work with Super Brains, who are trying so desperately to get on the rooftops, but. Not today, Super Brains, that's today. I like this Super Beanie as too. It reminds me a lot, of course, of, uh, ooh, let's get you a little bit, can I? It, of course, is very similar, honestly enough, to the uh, Dino, the Robo Dino that you play in Infinity Time, like with the, at least that triangle move. Thank you. <laughs> right, let's start damaging, or getting your damage up. And even somebody like a soldier or Captain Deadbeard could be really good with it. You know, it's like, imagine if I'm hiding up there on the roof with a Captain Deadbeard, right? and I'm just like boosting his damage, he's gonna get a lot of very easy vanquishes. And it's gonna give me some decent, you know, assist experience. Okay, dude, where are you? Get you out of here if I can. Here, oh, no, I couldn't get him. That's another thing though, is you don't have a ton of health. I don't know exactly how much health we have. We'll find out in a second. 
We have 125 health. We have the average amount of health, but in a character like this, I, I've noticed that the, um, it's almost like the imp in the way of how hard it's, you know, it is to hit the torch, or not the torch, what, but the hover goat. But still, it's a very cool class. I am very happy with it for the few seconds we've played it. I like the idea that it's like, I mean, a lot of people were like, I don't know what the next zombie will be just because, you know, there are so many different options and at the same time, it can be pretty confusing on what they could possibly do. Cause you know, there's been so many zombie characters across all the plans versus zombies games. So it's, you know, tough to say. Let me start reviving you if I can. Ooh, it's almost there, it's almost there, but I might get, oh, I got got. That stinks. I was right there too. <laughs> but, um, what was I gonna say? But the go was definitely out of left field. I don't think anybody expected a zombie class that isn't technically a zombie. It makes sense though, because animals like the go and the chicken and the dolphin have always been on the zombie side for one reason or another. So it's interesting to see that that continues, you know, with this hover goat. I wonder why though, like what does a goat get out of it? Like maybe he's just evil and he, maybe, maybe it's just that he likes to eat plants. Maybe that's it. He's from the future, so I mean, maybe I would really like to see some entangling lore with Citron. That would be really cool. Like, I know they make PVZ comics, which I need to read those one day. Like, I really do, I really want to. Um, I, I really would really hope that they made a new one where it's like Citron versus Hovergo, and like it talks about their battles in the future, because honestly, the Citron is from the future and the Hovergo is from the future. We've never really learned too much about that. Or maybe even just like a spin-off DLC. I, I don't know. Just something where we could learn more about the future of the game and the you know the series and everything. Okay, so I'm like I've spawned into some dangerous areas here. There's a Citron. Ouch. Definitely don't want to go solo. Solo seems like a bad idea. It just doesn't seem like it's gonna work out very well. So let's respawn up. And then I can I gotta make sure to use this kickflip. Hey, it looks like I'm not alone now. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. So that's sort of like in a move you can turn on and off. It's almost like the Citron speed up when he's in ball form. And I love it because he do a kickflip and it reminds me of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, a game I spent many hours playing in childhood. So it's just cool to see. But yeah, it's also sort of like Back to the Future with the cool hoverboard style. There's just a lot of cool stuff going on with this character and I like it a lot. I don't think it was a bad character for sure and I love the noise it makes. I've heard this noise before and I was like, what the heck is that? Now I know, now I know. Ooh, there's that. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. Using this beam is a lot of fun, especially through the smoke like this. Ah, oh, but this is so easy, I can get caught out. I need to make sure when I'm using that beam, I pay attention to my blind spots because that is something that can turn out nasty. But even so, a character like you know the astronaut here, the astronaut has a great range to him, so I'm sure this would do a good amount of dam or, you know, damage boosting. And that's sort of the thing I'm curious about, is it of course tells you it boosts damage, but it doesn't say by how much. I would love to know. I mean, of course, it really wouldn't be that hard to figure out, but I mean, I don't have the, you know, I'm not going to right now, just because I'd have to wait for somebody to boost me as a hover goat, and then see how much damage I do normally without it. But, um, that's really what you'd have to do, is get somebody to boost you, and, you know, as you know, with the hover goat, and then see how much damage you do, and then compare that to what you do normally without it. But I wonder if it's like, I, I'd have to assume it's probably around 20%. That seems like a fair amount. That'd be effective, but not too crazy. So I think that's probably where it's at. And that'd be cool. Can I jump? Yeah, we can jump on our super speed mode too. We oh, so it feels so cool. It feels like I'm actually playing Tony Hawk or something, because I can just go up here. <laughs> you can definitely jump a little bit higher. Like platform ring. I would actually like to do some of the trials as like these characters. At least like this guy could probably do the trial of uh, balance very easily. Whoa, unless he fall off the diving board like I did. But I bet you that he could probably do the trial of balance very easily. And it would be fun to. It would actually feel like a skateboarding game or something. Okay, let's uh, boost your damage. And I'm gonna keep running because I don't know where this person is, but I can hear them shooting at me. They're over here. Oh gosh, oh gosh, not good. The fire rate is pretty good for the amount of damage you're getting though, even with the base shot. It's a very cool class. And when we play these characters a lot, of course, like I've said, just because, you know, it's you know, it's one thing it's fun, and it's like I need to level these characters up as soon as I can, just because that's always nice to do. Cause I definitely want to see these characters once they're mastered and they're upgraded and see how effective they are, how much changes and all that kind of cool stuff. Yeah, let's I can't really attack you too much from here. But I would like to see a solo ops where um, there are three goats and a scientist. Like that sounds like it could be an interesting situation. Ooh. Here. Oh no, no. Let's go ahead and just smack you with the beam if I can. Definitely have to sort of keep ahead of my shots and not get caught out like I keep doing. 
There's no more I do that, the more I'll get vanquished. But here's an interesting question. If I were to boost this guy's damage and another goat comes around and is also boosting this guy's damage, will that boost stack or does it only stop at that one? You know, if everybody go, that's a crazy thought. Imagine we got a team of like 16 people in here right now, right? Imagine if 15 of them went and turned into a goat and then one of them turned into an all-star and he had 15 goats boosting the damage of one all-star and he did like a thousand damage per shot. That's probably not how it works, I'd have to say, but if it did imagine the possibility, that'd be the coolest thing to try. That would be so crazy awesome. Ah, <laughs> oh, but I just like going crazy with those kind of thoughts. Ooh, ooh, hey, 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 buddy. Toxic P, I don't need you right now. I see the icons for a bunch of people. I don't see too many of them. You just gotta be sort of accurate. If you can learn how to be accurate with this this beam, I think it's like, that's really where the big kicker is. Ooh, let's boost your damage a little bit. I'm gonna try to skateboard on out of here. The beam does go for a pretty long length. Like, I, I would say longer than the scientist's heal. Ooh, got you. Come on, come on, come on. You are almost down, I know that for sure. Ooh, you're trying to run, but can you? But can you, you can. Well, he spawned right in front of me. How cool is that? Not really. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. There you go. Try to get you if I can. We got a times for a vanquish streak right now, which is pretty nice. Whoa, Citron right in my face. Oh, I'll be out. Thank you, times five. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on. Nice, that was an assist. The damage buff assist only gives you 10 experience. I think you get a healing assist for 20, so. I mean, it makes sense if the, if the beam is longer though. Hmm. I was expecting a little bit more, but at the same time, you're getting 50 experience for the assists and then 10 for the damage buff assists. So I think that's like 60 experience total. So that's not too bad. This is a very cool class so far. When it comes to, rest in peace, scientist. Rest in peace, just jumped right off. <laughs> when it comes to what's better, Torchwood or Hover Goat, I mean, it's sort of a hard thing to compare, right? Like. They're different classes. It's like if you compared an imp to an engineer. It's like, they're, they're two different classes. Why would we even compare them, you know? It's just like one of those things where it's like, the imp, you know, is a heavy vanquisher. It's supposed to be in the heating, heat of battle while the engineer is supposed to be a tactical class to help with, you know, the other players traveling and you know, those kind of tactical things. So it's, you know, it's, it's different. Let's try to get you a little bit. Ooh, oh, I couldn't even get you there. It doesn't look like you can actually damage other, you know, or you can't boost the damage of your teammates when you have that super beam on. So that's something to keep in mind. I don't know if you start boosting the damage first and then go into the super beam, we'll cancel it. I'll have to find that out. But um, still pretty cool. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's try to get our way over here and see what we can do. But you guys were very supportive on the you know the previous episode where we played the Torchwood. Thank you so much for that. If you haven't checked it out, I suggest you do. And also at the end of today's episode, we'll open up the uh, 50 star chest. I probably shouldn't be pausing my game to show it now. I'll do it later. Ah, there you go. Like now would be a good time. This is gonna be our first upgrade. Gonna be the health regeneration delay, which won't be too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, character upgrades. There you go. But um. Yo, we opened up the 50 rainbow star chest today like I promised in the last episode. Didn't forget, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Just, I think it's pretty cool when I'm not a forgetful Frank. Oh. So I wonder how much work this is helping get done. I can only imagine it would be super helpful. But yeah, if you know like percentage page, how much it you know boosts the damage, I would love to hear. Like, I don't know if it is by a percentage or maybe it's that, that every shot you'll do two extra damage. Like. You know, it might be like that. It might not be like a percentage-based number as much as it might be like a, a cold case, like a specific bonus each time. There you go. Let's go like that. Ooh, darn it. <laughs> well, that was okay though. I mean, we're doing fine. 22 vanquishes once again. You know, I'm brand new with the class. If I don't do amazing, that's gonna happen. I don't know if these people are muted or not. I hear noises, but I don't know, it's weird. But they're actually having a really hard time taking this point. I'm not sure if they're gonna end up doing it. And I wouldn't mind if they don't, just because I would love to play one where we're, you know, actually being the offensive team. Why does it always seem like I'm always the defensive team? Just can never get what I want, can I? Okay, but we're doing fine. I'm happy with this. This is pretty fun too. Like when it comes to fun factor, I definitely say the classes are tied. They're both really fun for their own reasons. 
But this guy's definitely a good time so far. And let me boost your damage, because you're running. You, you got places to be right now. Let's go ahead, ooh, land all those headshots. Okay. Ooh, can I get you a little bit? No, because there was a thingamabob, and the thingamabob was getting me, and that ain't no good. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun, though. Oh, somebody's reviving me. Thank you, thank you. And we're back, we're back. So let's go ahead and boost your damage. But I really still don't know the possibilities of seeing a variant for these kind of classes. I mean, you know, we've talked about it in the last episode with the fact that there is a new Captain Deadbeard most likely coming to the game that I don't see, you know, at least variants coming for these guys anytime soon. Oh gosh, everybody's downed. Everybody's downed. I gotta be careful. Ooh. But it still might be cool. I think more than variants for these guys, I would really, really like to see some other stuff, you know, such as, oh gosh, so many, so many, so many, come on, I got you a little bit. Go into the super B mode if I need it, and then just, ooh, how did that not get you? That was a lot of damage right there for doing not a whole bunch. But I would still like to see more customizations than variants, I just feel like that'd be a lot more fun for the current situation. Like, I really wanna be able to trick out my hover goat shoes, and I'm gonna, I know, I'm gonna keep fighting for that idea until I get it. <laughs> Zebra gets what Zebra wants, and right now I want to vanquish this Ice Rose. Nope, didn't get it. <laughs> Maybe I don't always get what I want, what do you know? Can't always get what you want. Ouch. Well, it looks like they're not gonna be able to pull out the win here unless they really start pushing in now. And who knows if they will, it looks like they won't. So let's hope that we get a actual Gardens and Graveguards instead of Herbal Assault the next round, and if so, that'll be great. All right, so we've been making good progress with the levels so far, just because I guess all the Vanquishes we'd be getting, all the assists and everything, it's pretty good. Oh, I like your hat, I wish I had it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, we're halfway through level five. Ah, ah, no, 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 no. No, boost somebody's damage, just help me out here. Yeah, that was good, we got the first strike too, so that's gonna be some good experience there. Ooh, don't hit me, yeah, hit the, hit the porta potty zombie. Hit him. Oh boy, where'd he go, where'd he go? Oh, no, 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 there was another one. <laughs> he had a brother, <gasps> dang it. I just, a lot of people were popping up there. It looks like they have a bigger team right now, but hopefully that changes. Hopefully it does. I love the logo for Seeds of Time. It looks very cool. I don't know why I wanted to add that fact, but I did. Jeez, these guys are everywhere right now. Oh, let's just boost somebody's damage. If I could boost their Cricket Stars damage, that would be very helpful, I think. Ooh, no, 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 I got Ian beached. There's, there's so many Citrons, it's insane. Yeah, my boost, my damage boost went away once I started this triangle beam thing. Ooh, I can get you good here, though, before you even realize, basically. And then get you a little bit, if not all the way. Whoa, here you go, here you go. Ah, oh, man, I tried to dodge it. Not quite, though, not quite. <laughs> this is so insane. I love it so much. And it's sort of it's sort of a sad feeling at the same time, knowing that we've gone through, I mean, of course, except for the, you know, ever, you know, basically weekly mystery portal we got going on. Besides that, you know, as it currently stands, we're done with all the Trials of Nova stuff. At this point, we're gonna be considering ourselves with, you know, showing off the rest of the classes in the game, showing off some more of the legendary hats, of course, enjoying Rux when he pops up, but, you know, the big mystery of Trials of Nova is gone and done. Hello, fellow goat. Hello, fellow. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I don't know why yum. <laughs> I am just silly. But, um, it's sort of saddening at the same time as exciting because that means we've gone past one hurdle and that there'll be another one soon enough, I'm sure. Now, that's sort of the great thing that I really like about this game is that not only is it a lot of fun and that there's always new stuff coming out for it, but it's consistent, you know? It's like, you know, while we're enjoying this or working on something else that's new and that's super exciting, the word is the next big thing is gonna be PVZ Heroes customizations and more pizzazzled items, and that's really great, and it makes me wonder, like, you know, how exactly, oh, his R1 boost actually boosts me up, too. I don't know if it boosts other players, but it does boost me, and then I'll boost mine, and we'll get there real quick. Wow, that's great. Aw. <laughs> It's just too bad that I get destroyed so quickly. But I just like, I mean, I really wanna see how we're gonna get the PVZ Heroes content, because you might know that just recently they announced in PVZ 2 that they're getting some PVZ Heroes customizations, which is great. And it makes me think of all the awesome stuff that you know could make the way to go to war for this PVZ Heroes related. And I just, I really like that the all three games are getting to a point where it's like, they can all borrow from each other, and they can make a really good sort of like, 
outstanding experience if you play all three. Like, if you play one game on its own, PvZ2, Heroes, or God of Warfare 2, no matter what, you're gonna have a good experience because all three games are good games. But if you play all three and you enjoy all three, you'll have an even better experience because you'll notice these relations that they all have. It'll just be a good time. We definitely do more damage to a Torchwood than we would do a Sunflower or even somebody with a higher health like a Chomper. Even though we are doing a lot of damage right now, I guess maybe we're getting a damage boost from somebody or is it just to make a laser? Oh, he got me. <laughs> I couldn't tell if I was alone or not. I just felt like there was somebody next to me. Spooky. Halloween's over, game. Halloween's over. Don't scare me like that. But I mean, I feel like that's sort of like, there are so many directions this game can still take. Like, I don't feel like we're at the end of anything. You know, that's sort of the thing I think some people are worried about that. They went on and on and said, you know, oh, this is, you know, the big update we've been working on since the game launch. So I think a lot of people with that idea has also accepted the idea that this might be one of the last big ones, even though we've only had one other big one, which was Trouble in Zimbopolis. I don't think that's the case though, just because there's so many ways this game can be expanded, it'd just be great. I completely ate that. <laughs> yum, 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 now I can say it and it makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's really the idea. It's like, think about all the new map ideas they could bring up. I mean, I still think that they could bring in Master of Garden War for one and really make that work. I mean, we're seeing a lot of stuff being brought on from Garden War for one already. You can buy classic Garden War for one customizations from Rux. You can, um, what's it called? You can uh, get classic taunts in the game now with um, just a Trials Nomus chest. Oh, jeez, I keep on forgetting what team I'm on. Citron sort of seems like. You know, I shouldn't attack Citron because he's a futuristic guy and it makes me think, oh yeah, he's on my team. But it's just not the case. Ooh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> I got bigger, better buttered. That's not good. But yeah, I mean, and you know, the indefinite amount of ideas for legendary hats. And then the bedazzled items. I know that they've been talking about, or like, you know, everybody's been talking about all the new bedazzled items that could be coming out. And I think that, you know, some people like found a way to get into the game and see that there is more. I don't know if there's a way to find out if what it is exactly. I don't know if I want to know. It's one of those things where I like I like to find out the real way, you know? Which is, you know, through people playing the game and finding it in the game but not exactly hacking, but it you know it being revealed when the people who make the game intend to reveal it, right? In the meantime, I just have fun, you know, speculize or speculating. Just just fantasizing about it really. Just thinking about all the crazy cool stuff that could happen. But we are struggling to get this point right now. We're the, the same size team now, but we did start at the smaller team, and sometimes it's just a bad start that can really get you good. There we go, we vanquished that Torchwood. Who's the better class now, huh? Keep getting compared to you, Mr. Torchwood. Now we know who's the better one. Just kidding, just kidding. Ooh. Let's back up a little bit. I only have 20 health here, so I'm gonna just try to speed onto the point. Ah, no, 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 oh, wait, come on, no! Whoa, you jump really high with this, but he jumps higher, so. Should have went right when I went left. I get level seven though, which is great. And if we end up losing this round in point one, that's just how it happens. But I will try my best to, um, whoa, why didn't I get teleported? Rude much game. Um, we'll try our best to uh, make our way to a different game mode. Probably uh, Team Vanquish, or maybe even more uh, Vanquish confirmed like we did in the last episode. Ah, oh, I couldn't get him. 1v1 situation like that. Not gonna uh, turn out too well. It looks like this round's about to end, but I'm gonna try to speed up who I can. No, it does actually make him faster too. It's just another way it increases the abilities of your teammates, which is great. And first strike mastered. Oh yeah, I guess I got that, didn't I? All right, cool, that's at least something. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, move on to some Vanquish Confirm, most likely. All right, so we're joining in the middle of a game here, which is fine, because we still have a few more levels to earn up, so that's totally cool with me, but I think we'll enjoy doing it. Why are there mics on when I turn them off? <laughs> It always happens, doesn't it? We're on some uh, Vanquish Confirm, which I'm used to this kind of, like I'm getting more and more used to these masks because I've been constantly playing Team Vanquish because of the fact that I've been trying to, uh, <laughs> I've got an egghead here. <laughs> he had broken open eggs on his face, but uh, I've been trying to earn up all the stars for the Cactus versus, you know, Cap the Deadbeard mystery portal that's currently going on. So I'm just like super used to these masks. So hopefully I can use that to my advantage, but I'm sure all these people are as well. Okay, we need to get ourselves some of these. I can't get that one on the roof, unfortunately, but we'll do what we can for all the other ones. I can speed you guys up too. It looks like now that I'm near these guys, it won't give them a speed boost. It only gives them a speed boost if I activate it near them, which is good to keep in mind. Oh, is it this thing you're worried about? Don't worry about it. So where are these plants at? 
His plants are gonna be sorry when they find us. Uh, looks like you just got shot at, but I don't know where from where. Oh, from over here. Oh no, 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 not good, not good. Oh, you tried to goob me. He didn't quite succeed, but now you're trying to get me. Okay, I just got a speed boost away. Speed boost away. Ah, now what, now what? Oh, you went after my friend, didn't you? You went after my friend. You know what happens when people go after my friends? I go after them. Now I'm gonna be the chomper. Where'd he go? I bet the all-star got him. No, he's here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, no, he went after the all-star. Hey, wait, how is he still alive? Jeez, he takes a lot of shots. Let me get this. Let me get that. Oh boy, no, no, you're on my team. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm on your team. I'm just damage boost you though, for sure. Hmm, maybe this beam goes long enough that I can actually be up here. It actually goes through the wall and everything too, which is great. Oh, ah, oh, I couldn't get it there, but that's fine. I mean, I'm trying to get top angle sure, but it looks like I'm a far ways away, at least for this game since I joined late. No, this chomper won't stop, but he never picks up the orbs though, so missing the point of the game mode. We are winning as a team, which is good. Don't know how long that'll continue, but I can only hope it continues. Hmm. That all star still super speed? Well, it just ended for me as well, so probably not. Now let's go back around. I need to catch up with this guy. But it's cool, because he has like a combination of abilities from other characters, but he also has the ability to like, you know, give them to other characters. So that's a really cool part. Okay. Can I take that then? I guess I can. Hmm. Where are these plants that I'm hearing a chomper? I heard a chomper there for a second. Oh, there he is, there he is. Ooh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go down there, don't go down there. He's gonna try, but he can't succeed. Ooh, oh, he's going around now. He's going around now, where'd he go, where'd he go? Come on, come on. Okay. Speed boost, speed boost. Where'd he go? He's a sneaky one. Oh, there's other plants to beat up. Like this cactus. Come on, oh, going to super beam, super beam. Citron doesn't seem to notice me. He's trying to hit me with his beam, but I'm hitting him with mine. That was good, that was good. And what happened to that chomper? I think he ran off this way. The chase for the chomper. He just never stops running. That's the problem. Oh, we got him from the long distance. Beautiful. Hopefully we can get our speed boost back soon. Oh, no, okay, and got it, that's fine. Just don't want to plan to get it. This has been crazy cool, though. Like, when it comes to which character I enjoy more, it really is hard to say. They're both fun for their own reasons. I think so far, I think that over time, the more I get used to this character, I think the, I'll be able to better play this character than I will be able to play Torch. What about the same time we played Great as the Torch? I would say that, ah, no, my friend again. Why do you keep doing this to me? Stop it. <laughs> I at least got the orb. Ooh, it's like you can vanquish all you want, but you're not gonna win if you don't pick up those orbs. Hey, 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 hold on. Oh, gotcha. Nobody else around here, I don't think. Oh, I can get you a little bit, nope. <laughs> Where are my friends at? No, 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 I got Snapdragon. Not Snapdragon, I got Spike Weed. Ooh, gotcha. Pretty good when you do get that though. Like, it feels good. Looks like I'm being revived. Oh, just barely, maybe this is bad. Maybe this, Ah, oh, come on, I was trying to get away. I was trying my best. I like how it has the zombie hanging out of his mouth, even though, he didn't just swallow a zombie now, did he? I mean, I guess that would be the same for when he swallows a normal goat too, right? Never really thought about it. I just saved your booty. Hope you're happy about it. Here, what speed boost you guys like crazy. Very cool, I just love doing that. Like, it just feels good. The sound effect is cool too, so it just sort of, it feels super satisfying, like, all the way around. Here. Ooh, the damage. The damage is crazy. Don't run into that. He ran right into it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies. Let me get up there then if I can. Oh, I can. The jumps are pretty high too. Like it's almost like it feels like you it would when you're riding around on a, on a hoverboard. Where is this dude at? He's over here. I might be able to get a good s surprise on him. Like it doesn't seem like he quite knows where I am. No, 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 no. Come on! I turned around. I was in front of him, and he was in front of me. Ah, it's a little stinky. I mean, luckily we got the vanquish, you know, advantage on him. So that makes me feel better. Here. Put a stop to him. That was good. Well, I need to get six more orbs. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Okay. First, get this. Okay. I got the level eight. That's good. We got a full level this round. And I need to find more, though. I need to find more enemies to vanquish. Like you, maybe? Nope. The thing is, is that it would be cool if there was a new 
I mean, I wouldn't make too much sense. Would it be cool if there was a new accolade, you know, for like most damage boosted instead of, you know, like most healed? But at the same time, it's one of those things where it's like, it'd only be for him, so it wouldn't really be that fair. Ooh, no, no. Dang it. Well, that ain't good. Oh, he had 9% too. Somebody got him out. That's all that matters. So it looks like we won this one pretty good. We'll have one more round at the least so that we can earn up this level 10, and that'll be good. But this is one of my favorite maps, so if I can play this brand new character well on a new map, that'd be pretty cool. But I'll definitely be playing on the Torchwood and or Hover Goat. I keep on wanting to call him Super Goat, but Hover Goat 3000 on my own time to earn up more levels as them. I will definitely be having those specific solo ops videos based on them, just because that sounds like it'd be super fun. You guys have been giving me some really cool suggestions for some custom solo ops videos, stuff like Guarded, or I guess like, how do you describe this one would be like, um, armored plants, like, you know, so the armored chomper, armored citron, not armored citron, but, um, well, I mean, if I had iron citron, that'd be a good addition, so I might have to wait for that, but, um, but it would be like armored chomper, iron citron, jade cactus, and rock pea. You know, they're, they're just like all the, or even metal petal. There's like these plants that have boosted health but slower movement speed because of it. That sounds like a really cool setup. The thing is that's weird here is that there's only three enemies, you know, three people on the enemy team, so. That might not be too good, but that mystic flower didn't land a shot on me. I am unscathed. Here, I'll boost you a little bit. Are you running to anybody? There's a Citron over here, though. Why is everybody on the enemy team AFK? It's like they know they're the only people on the team. Well, let's boost our speed. Get up here. Very good, very good. It's gonna take us a long time to win at this rate. I'll tell you that much. And so far, I've gotten two out of the, you know, two vanquishes our team's gone. Whoa, what are you shooting at? It says they have more than us, but nobody's playing. Oh, there's that Citron again. <laughs> I feel bad if I'm just vanquishing people that aren't there, but at the same time, no, he's there. He's there. He, he He's there, yep, he's moving. Ooh, come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, got him. And I'll go ahead and get that orb. Thank you very much. I feel like I'm stealing it from other people, but at the same time. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh, nice. Give me that orb. And what else is going on around here? Any more plants, huh? Yeah, excuse me, I gotta be in front, apparently. Or I'll keep bumping Indian. No, oh, that's the Citron hopping around. That looked weird. <clears throat> oh, here we go. A lot of Citrons, actually, or at least two, which is a lot for a team this small. Ooh, got you good here. You're running off into the street. No, no, you're coming back up. This guy just can't decide. <laughs> oh, now there's a Corona Corn to deal with. Ooh, gotcha, that was good. My mega, my mega laser still has a lot of juice to it. That was weird. Like it just, I think it like refilled itself for some reason. That was sort of weird. Okay, got that, come on. A lot of you, like I said, said that the uh, Torchwood is OP, but I haven't, now this is gonna be where it's silly. I, you know, like I was saying earlier, I I didn't see anybody say that Torchwood's OP until the video where I say nobody has said that Torchwood's OP, and now everyone's saying Torchwood's OP. I've definitely not seen anybody say that the Hover Goat is o OP, so I wonder, now that I've made this video, the legion of comments saying Hover Goat is OP. I feel like it's sort of silly. I don't take, you know, people saying it's OP or it's not OP too seriously anymore. Because it's just like one of those things where it's like, you know, I read comments about this game multiple times on a daily basis because I make videos on it. And a lot of you guys comment your thoughts on the game, which I totally love. Don't stop doing it. But because of that, I I've probably heard that every single character in some way is overpowered, you know? So it's just like, wow. Which character is actually overpowered and which one is? You know, it's just it's actually hard to say. I mean, I feel like this game is very well balanced, especially for most multiplayer shooters. Some of them just don't really know balancing too well, which is like fine. A game can be not very well balanced and still be decently fun. Oh, maybe we have increased attack speed when we activate that R1 thing? I don't know though. I think maybe it was just sort of a different sound. No, we're still shooting the same speed. Hmm. Very interesting moves for sure. Hello, actually, hey, I can use some heals here. Yeah, I'll come across, you should heal me. <laughs> Hello, no, don't run away, I can't heal myself from you if you're running away from me. Oh, fine. Here. Oh, geez, they're everywhere. They're sinking everywhere. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, come on. Get you, get you, ooh, the double. I'll take it, they're mine, they're mine. That's what you get for not healing me. All right then, so how are we doing right now? We got 14 orbs, I got 10 vanquishes, so I've gotten a good chunk of them. Very cool. Let's sneak on over here. 
Get up here and try to help out with this Vanquish. I got it, I got it, times 11 Vanquish streak. I feel bad for this enemy team. You know, we're, we're okay, it looks like they had some people leave too. I feel super bad at this point. Like, I think that if that's the case, I'll probably just earn up my level 10 and then leave because I don't want to spend like 20 minutes in here and just sort of vanquishing three people who aren't actually playing. Hello, hi, 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 hi. You're just shooting at me? Wait, these guys are getting bored. They're like, where are the enemies? Some people are joining. That's good. An even game is what I want. Hmm, I hear a kernel corn. I see a kernel corn. Here. Let's get you first before you can really react to it and then turn around and hit you up a little bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there you go, level nine. Good, good, good. Get that orb. We got a zoom upgrade. That won't be bad. It won't be like game changing, I don't think, especially with this reticle, it's not the best. But I, I mean, it's still pretty decent because you got that part in the center. And as long as you have that part in the center, you can usually make sense of most things. Okay, let's go ahead and I, I can't use my super beam just yet. I don't want to end my vanquish streak, but it might end up happening that way. Gotcha. Oh, but I still got God. That stinks. If I can respawn quick, I might be able to be the one who gets those orbs. We'll have to see. Respawn, respawn. That was one heck of a vanquish streak we got going on there. I don't know if anyone's going for those orbs, but I'll be the one. I will be the one. No, Kernicorn, you want back form too, huh? You want back form too? Well, good on you, buddy. Whoa, man. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Gotcha. Ha ha, I came out the victor this time around. I don't know if I'll be able to get you in time, but you're not paying attention to me, so I was able to snag him. Very good. Uh oh, another Kernicorn. Ready, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. And then that was good, that was good. Pick up that orb. And we're halfway to win and down. I'm gonna give everybody a speed boost because I might need it to get out of here. But I might also take it to snag an orb or two in front of everybody. There you go. And it's great because you really can skedaddle. Oh, get the pineapple. Get the pineapple. Oh, nice. And then you. Nice. Okay, we're building that vanquish streak back up. Lots of people just don't, like, I don't know if we're playing against, like, bots or something. Like, some of these people are definitely playing, like, bots. That guy just, like, ran into the truck and he's like, ouch, there was a truck there. Who put that there? All right, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, don't hit me, don't hit me, hit me. But I still have my super beam going on, so if I could just keep hitting him and keep landing it, I could probably get him. But he's trying to run away now. Ooh. And I really do think that, and I talked about this in the Torchwood episode, I feel like a lot of people will quickly run away from these new characters simply because they don't know what they're capable of. And a lot of times, like, I think the Citron, if he was to get out of his ball form after he hit me, and if he was just to keep hitting me, he would have totally got me. But he sort of got freaked out because he wasn't, he didn't know what I could do, so he just decided the best idea was to run away. When it's just one of those things where if you understand the abilities of these characters, it's much easier to defend against them. So I wonder now that I've actually played Torchwood and I've actually played, Super, you know, Hover Goat, well, I think they're OP simply because I know how the characters work and I know how to go against them in certain situations. Probably not, like I probably won't think they're so overpowered or crazy just because I had the perspective of knowing their limitations. Oh. There you go, there you go. Well, let's get over here and get you. Jeez, you will not give up. But we are going crazy right now. We got a times 11 vanquish streak and nobody seems to pay attention to us. And that's sort of the thing. You ain't gonna pay attention to me. And I'm gonna beat you up. Here, you get a damage boost, sure, why not? I'm gonna get that. And then, I don't see any other. The teams are starting to get a little bigger, so I guess I'll stick around. Hmm. Get you if I can. Oh, hey, hey, you get back here. Oh, geez, oh, geez, oh, geez. I'm probably not gonna get this vanquish. I got the assist. Didn't get the orb. Hey, hey, no, 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 I should have grabbed that. I didn't realize I was there. Oh, and he got me. But still, we got two times 11 vanquish streaks, if not more. So, that was crazy. And I'm getting revived. I guess I'll take it since there are plants right here that we can take out as soon as we pop up. So I'm gonna go ahead and give everybody a speed boost. I'm gonna start attacking you, but I am getting destroyed by everybody. Okay, accepting that revive might have been a mistake. Okay, chance number two, respawn. Let's see, we're almost at level 10, so I think we'll be able to snag that. The score is 36 to seven. I almost feel bad about that one. Ooh, must feel completely responsible. And there's a level 10 as the hover goat. Please don't get me here. Please don't, please don't. Oh, he got me. Just one night up, one night up. But I mean, the, the hover goat's been great. I'm gonna go ahead and get this new upgrade, just because that would be nice and good. I can definitely feel that it's a little better there. 
But he's been a fun character. I definitely have enjoyed myself, the, you know, the time we've been playing him in today's episode. And I had a lot of fun with the Torchwood. By no means am I unhappy with the, the results of Trials and Elmas. The idea of two new characters is really cool. And it just sort of, like I said, you know, before it builds up on what we could expect in future updates. If anything, not only is it the, the prize, but the potential following the prize. You know, now we have a whole nother character which we could get hundreds of customizations for. And another character on top of that, we got two new characters which we can get hundreds of, com you know, customiz uh, customizations for, just like we have every other character. So that's just great. And I really hope that they do consider giving them customizations. I hope they don't just drop us a new class and that's it. It's Chomper. He just has no chill. No chill. He's beat me up four times. We got like a massive amount of anger, like 29. That's more than half of the orbs that you can possibly get. That's just crazy. All right then. Let's uh, try to actually finish the game up there. They're trying to turn it around that I'd rather than not turn around a game that's nine to 42. Like that wouldn't be very fair. Well, I mean, it's not gonna be unfair, so that'd just be, I mean, just a pain to watch, probably. Because it would mean I'd be dying a lot. Let's uh, back it up maybe. Boost your damage as much as we can. Get that orb, turn back around. Beat up this chomper as much as we can. I gotta reload, gotta reload. I'm so sorry. Oh geez, I'm out of here. You gonna be going for me? No, nope. see ya buddy, see ya. Whoa. Oh geez, he can chase me real quick though. That's a scary thing. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Oh man, they're everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. Come on, no. Oh. This guy's the bait of me right now. If anybody can beat me up, it's for some reason this dude. Okay. We got six more orbs again. I might as well stick it out. Oh, I love these sweet jumps we can do. It's just so much fun. Like that's one of the most fun things about the character so far. It's just these cool jumps we can pull off. Guys, don't turn the game around, please. Oh, here we go, here we go. Should have gotten that, but I didn't. No. No, come on, I just wanna get on the thing. Oh, where's my team? I want my team back. They're running off other places. Avogod does to survive on his own. All right, this is, not Citron, but uh, Colonel Corn. Definitely going down. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Get him, yeah, okay. He's gone, I don't care how. I don't care how, I just want him to be out of my face. Get that dude, that's very good. Pick up that orb, guys. Just need one more now. Just need one more, no, two more orbs, okay. We can do that. Let's go into super boot mode here. And got him. Now we definitely only need one more, and there you go, triple bag was confirmed, we win. Ooh. We should have won much sooner, but things got a little scary there. And we got Vanquish Master. Some cool stuff going on, just 10,000 free coins out of everything, so I am super duper glad with that. That was a very good game. And there you go, look at us, we got first strike, top vanquisher, and top vanquish streak. Very, very cool. All right then, so there was a look at the Hover Goat 3000. You can see it in its new spot in the stats room. Very, very cool. A cool class, I was happy with that. Had so much fun, and now he's promoted the specials. We'll be playing him a lot on our own and on videos very soon, so stay tuned for that. And of course, if you haven't seen the video on Torchwood already, I suggest you do if you want to check that out. It was a previous episode, and you can find it in the playlist and everything. But yeah, I promised we'd open up the 50 Rainbow Star chest, and that's exactly what we're gonna do now. We're gonna get three items, guaranteed not to be a key. This will be the first time ever we're opening up a 50 Star Rainbow chest, and it won't be a key inside. Or like, you know, there's no chance for it being a key. If there is, I'm gonna freak out. Like, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure there's no way to get a key at this point. But um, let's go ahead and get three items. And I really can't wait to complete my first Mystery Portal set. Because, you know, like, you get, like, different item sets. I can't wait to complete our first one. That would be fun to, like, show off a video on a completed set. But let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside it is. Ooh, okay, so we get the Mysterious Hat. The full flex and the arcade hat, or an arcade set. So these are just two Garden Warfare two items you can see, or Garden Warfare one items, I think, with the mysterious hat and the full flex, but this is a part of the set. This is the arcade set, and very, very cool indeed. He has got cool arcade uh, machines on his head. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Flash vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Hover Zebra 3000 so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you are a zebra fantastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.